Fitzgerald's popular work, The Great Gatsby, has been a staple in American literature and entertainment since its creation. Having two different adaptations, one directed in 1974 by Jack Clayton and a more recent version from 2013 directed by Baz Luhrmann, fans are able to view both and decide which one they think best portrays the popular story of 1920s glam, romance, and loss. So today, viewers, I'm going to talk about what I think regarding both versions of this beloved film. The first thing a viewer notices is what a film looks like. Believe it or not, it is more than common to judge something based on its appearance. The 1974 film has pretty refined visuals for its time, illustrating the glamour of Gatsby's mansion through the use of beautiful yet simple architecture and filming. There's a certain quality of rawness and ruggedness to the film that varies from the seemingly sophisticated manner of its characters, which is an interesting concept that manages to strengthen the contrast in the story. The newest version of this film also does well in the visual department, taking a completely different approach involving bright colors and an emphasis on the luxury of the time. This could be hollow without good acting and presentation, but the film crew makes it work through developing its characters and overall style to match, also using a contrasting element like the other film through bright modern music. Both versions include the same set concepts and familiar story points as the original work, going in different directions with the details of the image. It so happens that this is important in setting the two works apart. Additionally, the casting and acting in both films do different things for the quality of the content and emotional impact. Although Leonardo DiCaprio adds to the value of the 2013 film with his fame, Robert Redford arguably does a better job at portraying the original mysterious and love-struck Gatsby from Fitzgerald's literary work. It can also be said that the more brisk and choppy writing style from the recent adaptation may work better for DiCaprio's acting. More on this later. It is a toss-up whether Mia Farrow or Carrie Mulligan did a better job at illustrating the manner of the distinct and disputable characteristics of Daisy. Both are able to add emotion and complexity to a widely flawed individual, but in different ways. Carrie Mulligan is a gentler, more feminine Daisy, while Mia Farrow is possibly better at incorporating all the details and complications of the work's main female character, adding to the ruggedness of theme that I mentioned in regards to the setting before. I must say, Carrie Mulligan's acting near the end towards Tom and Gatsby did have more of an impact on me emotionally, but one may argue that a strong point of Fitzgerald's work comes from its value of action and depiction of the time over sentimental content. In my opinion, neither of the actors portraying Nick were spectacular, but the character's greater involvement in the 2013 adaptation gave him, for better or worse, more screen time. The writing of the two films is vastly different, providing a sense of two completely different storytellings. While the 1974 film is more true to the book, the newer version takes a unique turn, adding in more feeling and character-focused over setting-focused content than the original. It is arguable which style of portrayal is better, as part of the impact of Fitzgerald's novel rises from its starkness and lack of emotions in regards to wealth and prosperity. I guess the 2013 adaptation seems more real to us in that way, as it is more relatable and demonstrates a greater roller coaster of emotions. But is that a good thing? What experience do you want with such a famous story? Something more accurate to the time of the narrative, portraying more of Fitzgerald's original mystery and message, or an emotionally captivating masterpiece that highlights how modern music and technology can be universally blended with elements of the past? It is up to you to decide.